Then they expected me to stay after four by myself to check in, answer phones, and do return appointments. Can't do it. I mean... It's uh, ridiculous to ask one person to do that. It's only going to get ten times worse when we lose three people at the end of the month. It's just, it's way too much to ask one person to do. It's not even right. Mm. Mm. Crazy. Mm. What do you want? I hope it was worth it, you I don't know what it is, but I assure you it was worth it. Uh, clearly it was you that left all the shrimp wedged in my backseat cushions. That was like a month and a half ago. You're so gross. I hope you know I have my whole car cleaned. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you accept payment in sunshine and rainbows because I'm ah! out of cash. Like, I seriously can't believe you did this. I'm so pissed. It's disgusting. Blah, blah, blah. What was all that about? Just Angela acting like a tw ah! again. What'd she have a nervous breakdown about this time? I may or may not have left some bags of shrimp wedged between her seat cushions a couple months back. Well played, champ. Thanks, I thought it was pretty good. So now that you've had your fishy fun, don't you think you should pull back just a little bit instead of instigating her no. further? Absolutely not. For once, I'm just gonna enjoy f with her. She always gets away with acting like a bitch. Not this <laughs> again. What? This is how it always starts. You go with her, she retaliates, and when she does, you both spend weeks destroying each other's lives and personal property until you get bored, call a truce, and then consolidate your efforts into doing me to me. One time that happened. You lit my kitchen on fire! <laughs> it's not like it spread to the rest of the house. The firemen forgave us, look at you. I'm just saying this is gonna end bad for both of you. Mark my words. In order to grasp what's about to unfold, I feel it necessary to give you a little background on these two. This isn't your regular garden variety crazy sibling rivalry. Oh no. This is Toho Monster Mayhem times two. Cardboard cities are getting crushed. Overdubbed Asians are running for the hills. And conventional weapons are as useless as <laughs> on a bull. This, my dear friends, is destroy all sisters. I knew Angela had something up her sleeve, but I was surprised at how quickly she came ready to play. Hi. Hi. Aren't you still pissed at me? About what? I don't know, the whole shrimp in the back seat thing? Oh, whatever, I'm over it. Got your coffee, by the way. She's over it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Let's see this. Yep, dirty water and cigarette butts. Yeah, very good. You thought I should be worried about her? Please. Hey, Kim, did you check the weather today? I heard it's supposed to snow soon. What? You're a moron. Okay, easy now, Frosty. I don't want you to melt or anything. You're gonna help me clean this shit up. Actually, I would, but I have to get my car clean, so I'm a see you later, sis. <laughs> you know, you may have underestimated her this time. What Angela forgot was that Jamie not only knew her work schedule, but also where she kept her spare key. Angela's prized stuffed animal, the unfortunately named Mr. Mussolini, proved to be her Achilles heel in this war of wits. With the moose in her possession, Jamie was now holding all the cards. Is she f***ing serious? <sighs> Hi, Angela. What can I do for you? Ha ha, you had your laugh. Now where's my moose? Oh, no, I don't think I'll be telling you that. Jamie, you know how much he means to me. He's my best friend. I tell you what. I got a way to sweep this whole thing under the rug. Meet me at Mom and Dad's tomorrow. Um, no, no. I don't feel like going out tonight. True Blood's on. Who gives a shit? It's a repeat. If you want him back, you'll do this on my terms. <sighs> to catch the mouse, think like the cat you must. Oh my god, you're corny. <laughs> Chill.
Yeah, hi. Uh, where's the chat? Because I want my moose back now. Go get your moose back. I just have one little thing I want you to do for me first. Like what? You know, I've never really cared about half the crap that you've done, but just, you were always pulling this baby sister card. When Whatever, it comes to... is it going somewhere? <laughs> yeah, well, once I'd like you to own up and apologize. That's it, really? Mm hmm I'm sorry, okay? Yeah, not quite good enough. You see, I've written up a little something that I'd like you to read while Derek Cousin records the situation with our dad's camera. I just want to say that I'm strictly here as an impartial observer. Just give her the note. <sighs> yeah, I'm not reading this. If you want your stupid moose back, you're gonna read it. As soon as you finish that, I'll come right down and hand him to you. Promise me. Cross my heart and hope to die. Well, if I don't get him back, you better hope you die. Okay. I hereby apologize to my beautiful, wise, and forgiving sister Jamie. Although I've acted like a spoiled brat in the past, I promise that if she accepts my humble apology and returns my stupid stuffed reindeer, it's a moose idiot. Can't just keep reading. If she returns my stuffed moose, I'll be the kind of loving sister she deserves. If her beloved majesty chooses to forgive me, let there be a sign from above. What does that even mean? I cannot wait to put this on YouTube. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's okay. I, I forgive <laughs> you. Oh, forgive. Oh. Unfortunately, things didn't stop there. Let's see what we get here. Never expect a thing. <sighs> oh, oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! That weekend, I tried to cool things down by hosting a slumber party night. Oh, 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 all the cousins in the house say hey! Despite my best efforts, hostility reared its ugly head once again. I hate you. Does it look like I give a sh Great sleepover last night. Nice monocle and mustache, by the way. Oh, really? Because a whipped cream mask is, like, more mature. <laughs> All right. Which one of you halfwits thought it was a good idea to put super glue on the seat in the dining room? Well, all right, in my defense, I would have bet money that you would have sat in that chair. <laughs> You're the worst kind of people. Oh, I'm the worst kind of people. You're the one that puts itching powder in people's clothes. I mean, that's friggin' ridiculous. Enough, okay. enough, enough. What is it with this <laughs> up family? Most sisters argue over who wore whose shirt on Friday night, but you two are like spy versus spy with vaginas. Well, she started it with the Seriously, whole thing like with the, the moose. No, 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 shut up. Either you two figure this out, or so help me God, I'm changing the locks in this place. God, overreact much? No, right? I mean, it's just like pranks, whatever. It's not like we're really mad at each other. Uh, we're not. I'm not mad at you. What, you're mad at me? Well... Yeah, sometimes. At that moment, Jamie saw something different in her sister and herself. The two talked long and into the wee hours of 11.15 in the afternoon. In doing so, they came to better appreciate their sisterly dynamic. 
Jamie came to realize that maybe she was a bit of an overbearing bitch face. While Angela saw that perhaps she was behaving like a whiny little fire crotch. And right then, they both agreed that a sister was the greatest ally one could have in this cold, male-dominated, work-a-day world. Maybe they didn't use those exact words, but the sentiment was there and alive for all to see. Unfortunately, since they were in my backyard, no one did. Yes, it's always a beautiful thing when a family conflict can be resolved peacefully. Though the only downside is that it leaves both sides open to a sneak attack from an unforeseen adversary. Hey guys! Oh, oh no. no. A stinker. There's a second bucket there. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>